YouTube, this is Miles, Paradise in a Pot. And I'm coming to you from Las Vegas. And today, we're gonna do a quick little shopping tour at Lowe's because I happened to find they had 50% off a whole bunch of succulents. So let's go ahead and take a look at that.
this. But it's such a cool fuzzy leaf. Oh, these are also, look at that. Oh, that flower, it feels so rubbery. Oh, this basket really is selling me. I mean, these leaves, they're so thick. They look so fake. Oh, they're really nice. Whoever put this basket together did a nice job. Yeah, $32. I would say it's pretty worth it. All right, helicopter's droning me out. All right, guys, before we go any further in this video, I want you to go right now and hit the subscribe button. I hear everybody's watching my videos, but no one's subscribing to my channel. Come on, guys. Let's subscribe. All right, now we're back. So in this video, from this point on, I'm gonna be talking about two plants, one pot. I know that sounds a little weird, but I've got two plants that I need to pot up. What is this little? So first up, I have this little uh, Sansevieria. I'm gonna get a close up of the, so that you can see the name of it. And as you can see, it's starting to grow a bunch of new leaves. It's got a little yellow leaf down there that needs to come out. So I got this, it's a little two inch pot. You can see it's got two new leaves coming in. I just feel it's really ready to move into a slightly bigger pot. So that's the first one. And then the next one I have is this Monstera uh, Peru, which came uh, at the plant trade and it came in this lovely white pot. Uh, I really don't need to pot this thing up, but I'm gonna pot it up only because I wanna kind of see what the soil mix is in there. And I need a pot for this guy. So since I need a pot for this one, I'm gonna put this guy into this pot. And then I'm gonna take this guy and move him up to this pot because this is the only pot I have available to be moving plants around with. So what we're going to do first off is go ahead and move the Monstera up to this one. So I've got my little tray here. Take this pot. I'm going to prepare it. I've prepared some of my potting mix as we've gone over many times before previous video if you want to check that out. So I have my Monstera here and I'm going to just kind of use a chopstick here to tickle it out. Kind of going down the sides there. Okay, this is kind of interesting actually. It looks like there's Lekka in there. So yeah, this is an interesting pot up. When you have these pots with the built-in bottom saucers, you can't really push your finger in there to pull the plant out like you normally would be able to. It doesn't look like it's been very long in that pot at all. So there we go. We got that pot, which is now an available pot. And we can see what's going on with these Monstera Peru roots. Looks like it was a couple of cuttings put together. It's really nice, four nice cuttings. So I'm gonna go ahead and use their mix, since it looks pretty fresh, to go ahead and put this back together. So I'm just gonna kind of hover those in there where I want them to land. I'll just go ahead and fill that back in. And there we go. So that's that one. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and take this little guy out of his pot. I wanna pull back some of this soil. Cause when I get to this leaf, it needs to come out to make sure there's nothing going wrong in there. That's just a leaf, which is all it looks to be. It's just a leaf, it's got a nice little root. I'm not gonna tear it up too much more. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna smell in there though. And the reason I'm smelling is because I wanna see if there's any rot going on. And you can smell when your plants are rotting. Um, it smells like a rotten egg, it smells bad. Um, and I'm just making sure, like I say, because that yellow leaf, just, just double check it, make sure everything's doing okay. So now with this guy, we're gonna go ahead and put him in here. So before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. All right, so I got that all cleaned out. We're gonna go ahead and, since this has got a built-in bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and put some bigger chunk orchid bark that's in my mix onto the bottom there kind of cover that hole up because I find that the dirt does fall through these. Uh, it does kind of clog up and I don't want to risk uh, anything happening. So go ahead and take a close up of that. Make sure they can see that I put, see how I put the wood on the bottom to kind of cover that hole up so as to not let the uh, rest of the soil mix fall through because of the way it does have that built-in saucer. So now we'll go ahead and fill that up a little bit mix in there and just by dropping it straight on top it should allow that to stay in place for you so you don't have to worry about it once it's got that first little scoop in there so this guy we're gonna go ahead and put him in here just a little bit higher oh I think it's gonna look so good this samurai in here I can't wait until it because it's got those new leaves coming in I really shouldn't do this during the time of growth, but I've had this guy over a year now. I feel like before he gets growing too much, he needs this. And I was also kind of concerned when I saw that yellow leaf that there might be a problem and I didn't want to risk anything being wrong. So now that we're Seeing everything's looking all right, I feel a lot better. Not to mention, holy cow, doesn't that look cute in there? Look how cute you look in there. Oh, it's just like that little pot was made for you. All right, well, there we go. It's all in there. Push it in there too tightly. But there, but he looks so cute. A little lost in that pot. Well, there we go, guys. That's two plants, one pot. And now I'm still with one pot, and who knows what I'll do with this little pot. But I'll save it because I'll recycle it, I'll reuse it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. Now, as a little bonus today, I haven't gotten a new plant in over a month. But at the 99 cent store today, they had some really unusual little Schaeffleras that were variegated. And everybody seemed to be going crazy over them. And I don't know why, I just kind of got in there and wanted one too. It says Creative Play by the Urban Jungle. And it was at the 99 cent store. I'll go ahead and zoom in on that just so they can see it says Urban Jungle. Because that's like a big name people like to look at. It has this really lovely variegation. Some of the leaves are just like all white. There's one on here that I actually saw. They all came in all white. But it was just such a really cute little plant. So I thought I'd go ahead and get it. I'm gonna let it acclimate in my house for a couple of weeks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check it. It's potting. It seems like it's a little damp but these I know like to be a little wetter, so I'm gonna leave it and uh, I'll give you updates on it, guys. All right, well, that's today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, have a great day.